And then the next category of people are the ghari. What is the intended meaning of al ghari mean? I.e. a person who has a debt upon him. So the meaning of al ghari mean, i.e. those who have a debt upon them. And this does not mean that somebody like Sheikh Ibrahim, he buys a Mercedes and he buys it on installments and then he thinks, okay, now zakah can be given from the Muslims. And therefore give me your zakah so I can pay off the installments of my Mercedes. So this is not the intended meaning of a person who has a debt upon them. Rather, like a poor person, for example, and he needs to buy food, or perhaps he has to buy a room, and he has debts upon him, zakah can be given to help that person. As for a rich person who wants to buy, a, who has bought a Mercedes or a villa on no. installments, and then wants the zakah of the Muslims, no zakah is due for him. So we have to look at what caused the debt. And then the zakah is not given to the person who is in debt. No. Rather zakah is given to the one to whom the debt is owed. Meaning we go to the person to whom the debt is owed and we ask him how much is the debt and he mentions the amount. And then we give the wealth to him to fulfill his debt. If we give it to the person who owes the debt, Maybe he will buy more with it and he will not, I mean, and he will not fulfill his debt.